And we were so rudely interrupted by my little friends that live around this area. The Lord said again, get ready, children, get ready, for it's time for judgment's hand to move in a momentary moment of time. Brace yourself in me, little children. It's about to become very rough. But I'm your calm in every storm. And yes, surely I come quickly, quickly for those who are waiting expectantly for my return. And the verses are 1 Peter 4, 17, Isaiah 59, 2, Exodus 12, 13 through 28, and John 1, 29. This is the second part of the word that the Lord just came forth. That is, get ready, get ready, get ready. And uh, it came forth on 8, 18, 22 at 7, 51 p.m. And the Lord said to get it out and to get it out now. So I am being obedient, even though I'm getting eaten up by a mosquito. In the name of Jesus, you got to go. We know these things are coming. Now it's up to us to seek, to pray, to fast, to spend our time in the presence of the Lord. These things are done in mercy. It is mercy. It is mercy from God's hand to allow these things to come. To allow these things to come so that our people, our families, those that don't know the Lord has a chance to come before, before they end up in hell. I don't want nobody, nobody to go to hell. I have seen it, and I, the way I could describe it, I'd rather be in a nuclear war than have somebody go to hell. No, 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 no. So, stay under the blood. Reach all the lost you can. You must reach the lost. You must reach the lost. Time is running out. Time is winding down. If we don't reach the lost, then who will? We are all called to reach the lost. And in reaching the lost, you know, it can be somebody, just somebody. There's many ways to reach the lost. It's just not, not about a direct, you know, going in and trying to force it down somebody. No. Live your life, a godly life before God that's pleasing to God. Um, if he tells you to speak to somebody, you speak to somebody. You be obedient. You want to see God move in your life? Be obedient. Be obedient, because when you're obedient, then he learn, He knows he can trust you to do what he's asking. And the more obedient you are, the more and more that he will trust you, and the more and more that you will be used. And to be used of God to reach the, the lost, to reach souls, that's what it's all about. I mean, I know that working and operating in miracles is going to be awesome, but what greater? You see, he said, greater things that ye shall do. Greater things than this shall you do. What greater thing can we do that Jesus didn't do was to lead somebody to Jesus. When you lead somebody to Jesus and you see they've accepted the Lord and you can see that change come over them. Praise God. There's nothing better. There's nothing better. All right. So I'm going to end this broadcast. Um, I apologize for the just the kind of. Um, well, no, I can't apologize. The Lord said do it. Do it now. So there we are. But this, again, is the second half. The first half, I was so um, disconnected. As I said, there are forces here, the upper elite of our nation that's here. But you know what? So is God. Our God sits on the throne in heaven. And what he ordains, no man can stop. So... I do not fear what man can do unto me, but I do fear what my God can do if I were to step out of line. He is just, and He is holy, and He is loving, and He is everything. So for now, I'm signing off. These things are here. Only God knows the exact moment, but if He says give a word, I've got to give the word. I know I've not been on here much lately, but again, I'm spending my time seeking Him full, full force. Praying, seeking, reading, conversing. Spending every free moment I can with him. So to all of you, I am praying for all of you. God bless. Just stay braced in him and buckle up. It's going to be rough. But God is a calm in every storm. Good night, Tennessee. God bless. I love you all.